So now we'll go for the different types of uh, mineral ores and their chemical composition and their metallurgical name. So if we go for the types of types of ores, if you take that is pyrite, pyrite ores, oxide ores, carbonate. carbonate ores and uh, sometimes you can you can also take sulfate ores so all pyrite ores if you take all pyrite ores if you take plenty of examples you can take pyrite ores if s2 this is iron pyrites if s2 iron pyrites then uh, uh, zns zinc blend HGS cinnabar cinnabar PVS galena so you're finding that in all cases you're finding that these pyrites are made up of sulfur when you say pyrites all pyrites they are made up of sulfur content in them if you go for oxide minerals plenty are there Al2O3 Al2O3 2H2O bauxite hydrated oxides these are called bauxite then uh, you can take um, al2o3 alumina alumina zno zincite co2o cuprite cuprite mineral ore then another important oxide mineral ore is fe2o3 hematite hematite then fe 4 magnetite and so on carbonate mineral ore CaCO3 limestone CaCO3 limestone then ZnCO3 calamine Calamin, FeCO3, Siderite, FeCO3, Siderite, then uh, we can take uh, calcium carbonate, uh, zinc carbonate, calcium carbonate, ferric carbonate, we can take, then we can also take uh, plenty of other examples, silver carbonate, many other examples you can take for carbonate ores. Similarly, if you go for sulfate ores, uh, you can take plenty of examples like uh, uh, Ca, SO4, 2H2O, that is gypsum, CaSO4, 2H2O, gypsum, MgSO4, Epsom salt, Epsom salt, in carbonate you can take CaCO3, MgCO3. This is dolomite. Dolomite. MgCO3. MgCO3 magnesite. Magnesite. Like this, you can take plenty of examples for the various kinds of mineral ores. So here uh, briefly we have studied something about the pyrite mineral ores, oxide mineral ores, carbonate mineral ores, sulphate mineral ores. Sometimes even you can take halides also, halide mineral ores, halide ores, if you take that is KCl, MgCl2, 6H2O, carnalite, Na3, AlF6. Cryolite and so on. These are some of the different kinds of mineral ores where we are where we are trying to study in the case of metallurgy. That is pyrite mineral ores, oxide mineral ores, carbonate mineral ores, sulphate mineral ores. What is interesting here is in these four types of mineral ores which we have studied for the extraction of metal, there are few important generalizations. 
generalizations if you take generalizations that is one thing what you have to understand is all pirates all pirate oars are roasted roast roasted means it involves roasting roasting is an important process roasting is an important proper process during the extraction of uh, metals from the mineral ores that you will come to know as the discussion goes on roasting is simply the process which involves the heating of the given mineral ore <coughs> the heating of the given pyrite mineral ore below the melting point in the presence of oxygen uh, is simply called as roasting in the presence of oxygen if the mineral ore is heated to a high temperature is simply called as roasting roasting involves oxidation because we are passing oxygen that is what we have to understand so roasting is usually done for pyrite ores similarly you go for all carbonate all carbonate ores are calcinated all carbonate mineral ores are all carbonate mineral ores are calcinated and the process involves calcination and the process involves calcination calcin what is calcination calcination is a process which involves heating the heating the given mineral ore all carbonate mineral ores when they are subjected to calcination heating the given mineral ore uh, below its melting point in the absence of oxygen to a high temperature is simply called as calcination so all carbonate ores are calcinated and all pyrite ores are roasted and there is one more process in the metallurgy that process we call it as smelting smelting process involves both roasting it also involves calcination and the smelting process cannot be done on its own it requires a blast furnace depending upon the kind of extraction blast furnace depending on the kind of extraction smelting involves both roasting as well as calcination and smelting process always requires a blast furnace to carry out the operation of the extraction of metal from the mineral ore